Three burgers, it's not a low power skull weapon. But three burgers, you're not doing it like I would do it, so you're doing it wrong. But three burgers, you're doing it with just two arbiters, and that's wrong. Well, okay, I get it. Here you go, a new arbiter vehicle for you. Are you guys happy now? <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Cross Out Boys and Girls. I made this because one of my uh, patrons actually asked me to have a look at the Arbiters for like higher power scores. Um, he suggested doing a spider build. I messed around with that a bit and must conclude that I just don't feel like it gets the job done. They get degun so easily because the Arbiter, you literally just have to look at them. And once you've looked at them, they just spontaneously combust and fall off. For whatever reason, I, I don't know how the devs actually managed to create a weapon that is this weak, but it just has some sort of debuff to it, so it just comes off. So what can we do about it? Well, we can slap an hover, slap them on a hover and actually get some extra mobility that we didn't have otherwise. So I went ahead and did, did that. Resulting in this vehicle, I used my old Helios hover as a base, the one that I used for plane walls, and then just modified it a bit. We now have a favorite cabin, three avatars. Ah, uh, some thermal stable uh, chill modules and not chill. What are these called? Sealed. Yep. <laughs> uh, and then yeah, just the basic hover layout that I also use for my um, Helios. So the reason that I wanted to do that is because I feel like the Avatar should mostly work around the same range that the Helios does. If you go further away, then you lose that like the damage output because you get like. You know, you lose damage the further away you are from your target. As you can see, we barely, de we barely even deal any damage. But if we move just a bit closer, you can see how the damage is already rising a lot. So around this range, but which is also a range where you can easily get hit. That's why we have the Aegis. So, yeah, I feel like we should just get started now that you've seen the vehicle and see what this thing actually can do. If you're, like, thinking what the shit was going on with that intro, then... Yeah, <laughs> a lot of guys on my last Avatar video was like, it's true, boys. you're doing this and that and this and that wrong. And you should do it like this and that and this and that. But the entire point of putting the Avatars into 5k was to see, are they any good at this power score? And no, they aren't. And they just felt so bad in that video that... Ouch, he was aiming for me. Of course he was. Like, of, of course I was going to do it like that. I was just not... You, you can't, like, really say... You're doing it wrong when you're testing a weapon at a certain power score because you can't get it right. I can't slap on four arbiters and still play at five power score, five k power score. It's simply impossible. Holy shit, that was close. So how people claim that, I don't get it. Bro. I'll let them do them. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, we have a cloak here somewhere. Let's see, nope, not here, not here. Move out of my way, bro. Why do the bots aim for me? Do they have some sort of addiction for me? I can't really tell. What I can tell though is, yep, that was definitely someone behind us. He just took off a gun. I'm doing horribly. I just literally just started playing this game today, guys. Sorry. <laughs> I even saw him on the map, and yet I decided just not to give a shit. It's what it is. Let's just get in here and bully them. Shoot for me, shoot for me. Or don't. Ooh, hello there, Joshua. See, this is the damage of two opposites because the damage is, is decently high. The issue that I still just want to address with this weapon is that the damage is really not. Abigail, what are you doing, homie? Why is he aiming for me too? Give me a break, okay? Just a regular guy trying to enjoy this game, and for some reason, everybody aims at me. He literally had four targets around him, and he just flew through all of them to shoot me. I don't appreciate that. Who's up here? Who's up here? They kept in the base, that's for sure. Let's do something about that. Oh man, I just. I, I don't like seeing guns on enemy people because. Why did I not use my. I'm stupid. <laughs> Ooh, that's that's melee. That is scary indeed. Why am I not using my? Shoot my! 
Science, there we go. Can we just get holes to stop having guns? No. We can, I see. Yep, we can. There we go. Okay, gotta really gotta focus on the cap. Really gotta focus on the cap. I'm just so scared about the melee guy. See, there's no way we're ever gonna deal with this dude. Can I? S <laughs> I was so triggered that I didn't use my Kevin buff thingy there that I actually just decided not to do anything at all. I'm s terrible. But it is not gonna stop me from doing another game at least. <laughs> Let's see, do we have. Uh, do we know anyone? We don't know anyone. Because I have no friends. Wow, that sculpts. There's so many sculpts lately. There's literally like sculpts all over. But they did actually get quite good with the recent change. They did reduce the damage of them a bit. But they, on the other hand, decided not to like go with what they actually fixed. If Are you serious? Mr. William. Um, they decided not to go with the changes that they did a couple of patches ago where they actually uh, made the um, made the Sculpin have quite a bit of damage reduction when it penetrated. So they reworked that and actually now the Sculpin almost has no damage penetration even when penetrating 7 layers of armor. Which is uh, the good part about the Sculpin and then the fact that the Sculpin now is super accurate again. As in it's really really accurate. Um, so that is definitely a big change to the weapon as it was functioning before. I feel like that dude is... Yep. That's a dual Aegis. Can we fight him at all? I honestly don't think we can. But I want him to pop that Aegis though. Look, he doesn't even care about me. Because I'm I'm just Arbitus. So why would he? And he's probably gonna degun me in like one shot. Maybe two. Now his shields are down so now we pressure him. STOP! I hear a cloak. He's on the other side of me here, I think. This is probably kind of... Nope, there he is. Oh, I see you. Put some pressure on him. There we go. Oh. Lovely damage. He can, oh, wow. Wow, we actually peeled someone's off his weapons. I didn't expect that at all. There we go. I think the issue before was that we actually lost our, uh, our radiators. And we generally do not want to lose our radiators. Because if we lose our radiators, then we're not going to do good. This build is so slow on hills. Which is an issue. There. There. I see kills for us. I see kills for us. Get it? Nope. Never mind. Don't get it. George. George is ours for sure. He was. I told you so. Good job. It's really so hard to decide if I enjoy these guns or not. I just can tell. I literally cannot tell because at one point, the reason that I like them and the reason that I like playing Reavers is the fact that you just get those constant damage numbers and you can just see yourself chewing through builds uh, of your opponent. But having said that, they just don't feel like they really pack a punch in any way. And that's, that's definitely my biggest issue with these guns, that they just don't... Yeah, they just don't feel feel good like that. They don't. Wow. Ouch. Someone coming this way. I really do not want to get in a 1v1 with anyone unless I know who it is. Because I'm afraid they're just going to kill me in one hit. <laughs> Yuli. Yuli. Let's get him. There we go. The f biggest flaw about this build right now. Ouch. What? Do you guys see what I mean? That bot came from over there by the hover over there. Walked over here. Disregarded all of the enemies you could see there just to take a fucking shot at me while I was sitting in the asset lane and the knock like the pulse from 
the, the, the freaking mammoth knocked me into the lake and killed me. Have I ever told you guys this story about how much I hate this game? And it, especially bots. Wow. Right now, acid lakes in this, in this uh, map at least. Let's hope that helps us. <laughs> I, I've never seen anything like that. I feel like a victim. I feel like the algorithm, like Gaijin has made some sort of algorithm that just makes bots target me. Woo! Woo! <laughs> like no tomorrow. I mean, that was honestly madness. I've never seen anything like that. Let's see who goes here, who goes here. Who are you? Oh my, you look, you look sort of crippled already, dude. You think I'm gonna allow you to do that? Really? Ooh, enemy destroyed. We dig on him. Nice. I will take that. Give me those. I honestly thought that was an enemy. I didn't see his nameplate. I want to sneak up on that hover over there and see what I can do to him. Let's see. They also have a mandrake like way down there, who is semi scary too. Oh shit. Here we go. Lovely, lovely cloak. No, 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 no. Keep the damage going on the dog. Ouch. Why does this build flip so much when it gets hit? I've never seen that before. They took my cloak. They took my goddamn cloak. Wait, and this towel. Why is towels becoming so popular all of a sudden? They are so bad. But people just don't realize, I think. I'm sort of scared. I know there's a dog around here. It must be the guy down there to the left of the map. Let's pray it is because I'm gonna disregard him for now. Wait a minute. He's definitely coming in. Like. Bruh! Use your map! Alright, this guy, this guy, he's gonna regret doing that. There we go. Woo! Where's my team? No, 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 no. Ouch. He's done. There we go. Nice. Are those guys like pre made or something? They aren't. Let's just get the mandrake. Hello there! Show what you're made of. Goddamn Ibises. Shoot my side. Oh no! I gave him. I gave him a little bit too much there. <laughs> Let's. We're just gonna act as a human shield now. Shoot me, goddammit. Or don't. Oh no! I'm gonna make it out alive. I'm good! But the Abbotses are still not. And I'm gonna continue saying that, no matter what you say. The Abbotses are not good. They will are not right now. They will not be in the future. Unless, of course, the devs actually decide to do something about the durability. Because, yes, three abbots is not a lot either for high power score. But I feel like it's needed, because if I had fallen this, I would have to give up the Aegis. And if I gave up the Aegis, I would have been degunned in, like, half the time it took them to bring me down before. And I didn't even play good today. So... They do have some flaws. The gun is massive compared to the HP it has. Like, this is compared to the Reva. I know the Reva is, like, bigger, but it's not that much bigger. But still, this one has 25% HP compared to the uh, Reva, or one-third of the Reva's HP. So, it's just not a good gun, in my opinion. If you guys want to try it out for yourself, be my guest. But for now, I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna put it away. Spend my time on something a bit more productive than the others. 
nevertheless i hope you guys enjoyed this video still and if you did this like button down there hit it and until next time have an awesome day bye